Hey everybody, we just got done talking about love and respect and we're going to dive deeper into something that I get a chance to share. And when we did this message, we're, we're talking about why so many women feel isolated and disconnected in their marriages and why so many men feel inadequate and often ashamed etc. And a lot of them don't even know what the feelings they're having and what the feelings. It's one thing to have feelings and emotions. It's another thing to know what they are. Like, why are you so emotional? And what is it? And so to be able to explain to people, and, and so I don't, I'm not going to go over this whole message. I want to encourage you to listen to this message uh, before you go into diving deeper and find out why men and women are different here. And when you try to talk, what things are going to be uh, raised up in this relationship. Now, one of the things I want to help you with is this area of you growing. One of the things I just commented on is you can be bringing that into the relationship. I mean, a woman can come in already feeling disconnected, already feeling unloved, already feeling fearful about relationships, uh, and just bring it right into the marriage. And it's got nothing to do with the guy from the get-go. Uh, many men can come into, a probably a lot, can come into their marriage relationship and already struggle with feeling inadequate, feeling like failures, and then get married, and these feelings come right into the marriage. And probably both have have those feelings and how it just shuts down our marriage at the best it plateaus it and so what can we do for ourselves how can we allow God to work within our own hearts so that we can be better and I think it's it's a real key today being Valentine's Day I wanted to really help people by showing them uh, the issues in many marriages but let me give you just a maybe three thoughts um, that will help you to be a better husband, a better wife, and what God wants to work on on the inside of you. Now, one of the first things that I think is really important is that everybody, man and woman, and these are for guys and girls, husbands and wives, you need to develop a sense of significance. You need to develop a sense that you're loved unconditionally by diving into God's word and seeing God's unconditional love for you. You have to believe it. You have to accept it. And if you do, something deep happens inside of you. And if you don't deal with feeling significant even before you get married or outside of your relationship, you're always going to feel vulnerable, needy, insecure. So on your own, dive into God's word and see how much he loves you, how important, how significant, how you're loved unconditionally. Because toxic love is when you're loved with conditions, which is how most people love. So this that's one thing that you can begin to work on for yourself so that you are a much greater blessing, much more mature in your marriage. The second thing that I think helps people immensely, even before you work or talk about marriage stuff, I would call it authenticity. Um, this is where you know who you are and you're determined to be you. You're committed to your life, your personality, your God-given talents. It's like getting right with yourself. It's like, um, this is who I am. Now, I don't mean that if you don't know who you are, just make a bunch of stuff up. But learning to be authentic. And that's where you're open to the feedback from others because others will see your blind spots. Others can help you, especially your spouse. But if you don't just decide that God loves me, He unconditionally loves me, I am significant, I am special and important. Every little kid wants that. But also, I'm going to be authentically me. I don't have to be a copy of somebody else. I don't have to make everybody else happy. And if you don't do this, if you don't get right with yourself in this way, you're, you're going to just literally feel stagnant as a person. You're going to feel phony. 
um, you're going to feel superficial because you're just trying to be something your spouse wants you to be, or you're trying to be something that you've never even, you know, you're just trying to copy somebody else that you see and respect. And it's not that it's bad to copy their strengths and to learn and to grow, but this area of feeling authentic. And, and when you do, you just start feeling good about yourself. When you start to grow in significance and authenticity, you feel so good about yourself. You feel freer. You feel more alive. You can now share in a relationship in an even greater way. And the third thing I, I said I was going to give you three is an ability to show love to your spouse, to give love, to give yourself to them in a way that it's just this self-giving love. And you do this every day. How can I love them in a way that makes them realize who they are, makes them feel alive? And if you don't learn to love unselfishly, then you become very self-consumed. And you're not interested in anything unless it has to do with you. And that destroys relationships so quickly because marriages very quickly from the courtship move into a place where they become very self-centered, self-serving. I need to get my needs met. And with these three areas, you can become whole and healthy. And that way, besides the things you want to talk about and work on in your marriage that we talked about in the message, love and respect, you can begin to look at yourself and you and God, you and God's Word. Just take these three topics, dive into God's Word, talk to God about them, and find these areas so that you feel alive and whole and authentic and important and, and you're not self-centered, but you're, you love loving your spouse and that your love touches them and does something to them. And you can walk in a way where you're not just plateaued in this self-centeredness that has all these awful feelings that it's not your spouse that's causing them. It's these three areas that only you can develop with God and with his word. Well, that's just kind of giving you a direction to go that I believe will really help you. Because if you don't deal with these three, you're always going to be trying to find other people's recognition. You're always going to be looking for other people's approval. Trying to, and, and your life then is, it's not cool. So here's a few thoughts just quickly for you to dive in. And that way, you're not always looking for significance from the outside. You're not always trying to find out what do people think about me. And it's just you, 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 you. This is the way people feel good about themselves. And then they can begin to love and give in a way that your spouse needs and in a way that you need to be. And when both are doing this, it's an incredible relationship that begins to grow line upon line, season upon season. God bless you.